Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I hope you are enjoying my one drug in 3 minute series. To stay tuned with me, please subscribe my channel now if you haven't yet and hit the bell icon. Please do share this video with your friends if you find it useful. So today we are going to study tetracycline, another important group of antibiotic. Tetracyclines are broad spectrum antibiotic and they are bacteriostatic. There's two information you should know about each and every drug. So how does it work? It binds with 30th ribosomal subunit and inhibit the binding of amino acyl tRNA to A site. Here you can see this is the structure of ribosome, 30th unit and the 50th unit. But tetracycline, here it is, tetracycline works on 30th subunit on A site and it inhibits the binding of amino acyl tRNA. Hope it's clear. It is classified into three. Group 1 is of tetracycline only, tetracycline, chlortetracycline, oxytetracycline. Group 2 is demaclocycline and lamacycline. Group 3 is doxycycline and minocycline. Pharmacokinetics. Oral absorption of tetracycline is impaired by food and multivalent cations like calcium, iron, aluminium, etc. Yogurt decreases the absorption of tetracycline because it contains cations like calcium and magnesium. Tetracycline cross the placenta and affects fetus if administered to a pregnant female. Undergoes enterohepatic circulation that is via liver. And uh, all tetracycline excreted primarily in urine except doxycycline. It is excreted in feces and thus it can be used in presence of renal failure. This is your important MCQ over here. Half-life of doxycycline and minocycline is longer than other tetracycline. So here you can see if the tetracycline stains are found in the deciduous incisor then there are like, likely chances that mother took the tetracycline during 4 months in utero to 3 months postpartum. This is the critical period and uh, this shows the affected tooth. Okay, For deciduous canine it is 5 months in utero to 9 months postpartum. For permanent incisors and canines to get tetracycline staining the critical period is 3 to 5 months postpartum to 7 years of age. Mutation of the permanent teeth may develop if tetracyclines are given between the age of 0.2 and 5 years. Recently this question has been asked what is the sub antimicrobial dose of doxycycline given for periodontal disease and periodontal conditions that is 20 milligram tablets here you can see and it is given in the management and control of periodontal diseases when combined with scaling and root planning basically to increase the new attachment and reattachment procedures in perio we give this periostat clinical uses here is an easy mnemonic for you rbc in plasma okay so uh, tetracyclines are given for rickettsia and relapsing fever brucellosis cholera and chlamydia granuloma inguinale plague peptic ulcer and pleurodesmosis LGV which is lymphogranuloma venerum, Lyme and leprosy diseases, atypical pneumonia and in SIADH. SIADH is a syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone secretion and the amoebiasis. Moving forward, tetracyclines can cause super infection. Basically all the broad spectrum antibiotics causes super infection which means added infection seen during or soon after the completion of antibiotic dose. Tetracycline can cause diarrhea and pseudomembranous colitis. Uh, generally, uh, gastric side effects are common with tetracyclines. Coming to the toxicity, yes, remember the mnemonic Kapil Dev. I hope now you can remember it more easily by seeing the picture. Okay, so uh, first side effect is kidney failure except doxycycline. Why? Because it is being ex excreted in feces. Anti-anabolic effect which means it decreases the protein synthesis in the body. Consuming tetracycline 
it causes anti anabolic effect which means it decreases the protein synthesis and the serum urea creatinine ratio increases so that is basically the anti anabolic effect photosensitivity which is maximum seen with demaclocycline and diabetes insipidus it is uh, due to adh antagonistic action and the liver toxicity dentition and bone defect so it is contraindicated in pregnancy and in children it causes the tooth enamel dysplasia and irregularities in the fetal bone growth expired drugs can cause fanconi syndrome what is fanconi syndrome it is basically a type of renal tubular acidosis and vestibular dysfunction which is a uh, maximum seen with minocycline hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe my channel thank you so much